Question 8. Leah is visiting Cardiff. The probability that she'll go on a tour bus is 0 0.3. The probability of Leah seeing a show at the Millennium Centre is independent of her going on a tour bus. The probability that she goes on a tour bus and sees a show at the Millennium Centre is 0 0.24 and part A complete the following tree diagram. So we're given this tree diagram down here. Uh, we're told that the probability of her going on a tour bus and seeing a show at the Millennium Centre is 0 0.24. Remember, we multiply down the tree or through the branches of the tree and we add vertically along. So I'll just show what I mean by that here. So 0 0.3 times by some number x, which is the independent event of her seeing a show at the Millennium Centre, equals 0 0.24. So basically we just need to rearrange this to get x. So x equals 0 0.24 divided by 0 0.30. I'll just put the extra 0 on the end here. Obviously this is also 0 0.30, just to make it a bit clearer for this next step. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 100 to make it a little bit clearer that that is the same as 24 divided by 30. Uh, I can now divide top and bottom by 2 to get 12 over 15 and I can divide by 3 top and bottom to get 4 fifths. 4 fifths is just the same as 8 tenths which is just 0 0.8. So that's the probability of um, Leah going to see a show at the Millennium Centre. That's 0 0.8. So just to show that, 0 0.3 times by 0 0.8 gives us the probability of, of her doing both as 0 0.24. Um, 0 0.8 plus 0 0.2 is 1. So that's what I mean by multiplying through the branches and just adding across the branches. We were told that these were independent events, so the probability of her doing one does not affect the probability probability of her doing the other. So these will remain the same probabilities. And this is just 0 0.7. So doing one or the other, or possibly even a third thing, the probabilities of each of those always add up to one. Uh, the probability of her doing one times by the other independent event equals this probability this probability plus this probability needs to equal 1 and as I said before seeing the show at the Millennium Centre or not seeing the show is an independent event to whether she goes on the bus tour or not so regardless of what she does here that will not affect the probability of what she does here because we are told that they are independent so that's part A part B calculate the probability that Leah does not go on a bus tour and does not see a show at the Millennium Centre. So we're asked not to go on a bus tour and not seeing a show. So this tree and this tree. So we're going through the branches so we know we need to multiply. So 0 0.7 was the first branch times by 0 0.2 was the second branch. I'm going to do a little trick here. I'm going to say that's 0 0.7 times by 2 by just moving the decimal place 1 across, which we know is 1.4. I just have to move the decimal place back once because we moved it once to the right, so I'm just going to move it once to the left to give our answer 0 0.14. So there's the answer to part B. I hope all that makes sense. I hope that's helped. If it does, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. That will really help boost the channel so I can help more people with their maths. If there's anything you're not sure about, please just leave a comment and I'll answer your question in the comments or I'll remake the video. But thank you very much for watching and keep up the hard work.